with every opioid medication or narcotic pain medication that we dispense in the pharmacy, we do include the Massachusetts Department of Public Health handout, which goes over everything that anybody should know about pain medication and the risk of abuse and addiction and how to properly dispose of it and the importance of having a nasal naloxone kit in addition because anybody is at risk of an overdose, not just somebody who's an addict. Even if you're just starting it for the first time, you might be sensitive to it and you might be at risk for an overdose if you take it not as prescribed. So that is one part of the counseling that we do with all the opioids. But more specifically, the side effects are very important to know about. And almost every prescription for an opioid is dispensed with a couple other medications as well to help decrease those side effects. And the major side effect is constipation. So almost every prescription, for example, for oxycodone that comes into the pharmacy is also paired with a prescription for a stool softener like Colace, where the generic name is Docusate, in addition to a laxative called Senna. Taking both Senna and Docusate with oxycodone is very important to prevent the constipation side effect from all the opioid medications. So every time you're taking, for as long as you're taking the pain medication, we always recommend that you take the bowel regimen medication in addition to it to prevent the constipation. In addition to the constipation side effects, the major side effect is drowsiness. So adding any other medication or alcohol that causes drowsiness in addition to this medication could be very dangerous. So we like to reiterate that no other medications that could cause drowsiness, such as benzodiazepines like lorazepam or Ativan, Xanax, things like that, should be avoided uh, when you're taking these medications. We also recommend that you don't drive because it's very powerful medication that will make you very sleepy and it could potentially make it so that you're not in the right state of mind to be driving. And we don't recommend you know, operating any heavy machinery anything similar to driving. Um, you should basically be at home and taking your pain medication rather than being out and about and going about your, your regular day because of the significant drowsiness.